Amul, Nandini, Avin, Milma. Well, these four names definitely ring a bell because they are names associated with milk cooperatives. And out of them, apart from Amul, the rest belong to Southern India. India has been credited of a success story of the milk revolution. But today, this very commodity called milk is causing wars in Southern India. <laughs> Let me explain to you very briefly. What we saw initially during the Karnataka elections, which was just held a few months ago, was an emotive and electoral issue that is of milk. When Amul decided and announced the launch of their products in Karnataka, Nandini, which is the Karnataka Milk Federation's brand, raised objection to this. Now, KMF or Karnataka Milk Federation's Nandini brand is the second largest milk producer in the country and they felt that Amul was infringing upon their territory and this became an issue not just uh, with the opposition at the time, the Congress uh, taking it up, but also the BJP left defending themselves in Karnataka. It became an election issue as well, but it was more about also emotions and also directly connected to the farmers of our country. Well, as we proceeded, this war then started snowballing because then we saw where in Tamil Nadu, which is Arvind, the milk cooperative from Tamil Nadu, uh, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. M.K. Stalin, said that they will not allow Amul to also encroach or infringe into their territory like they did in Karnataka. And this was a direct duel that we saw, verbal duel that took place and clearly saying that they will not allow such kind of businesses or to come and take over local economies. While this was going on, uh, recently we saw that KMF's product Nandini decided that they will expand their base and open a few outlets in Kerala. This is when Milma, which is Kerala's Milk Federation, also raised a red flag. Chief Minister Pindrai Vijayan, uh, that is Chief Minister of Kerala, also said that they will not allow what Amul did to Karnataka, will, will, they will not allow KMF or Nandini to do that to Kerala. Because end of the day, all these things are just tied down to two major issues and one is about produce the pr local produce the local commodities that are made are that are produced by the farmers are usually that which can be circulated within the local economy number one number two yes they are looking at branding them and expanding their base but there is an unwritten rule amongst corporate societies uh, especially when it comes to milk and other uh, products as well that they will not enter into the businesses of the other local producers uh, producers as well but clearly this kind of infringement that is being seen is being seen as encroachment into territories and that is causing a huge red flag amongst uh, milk cooperatives Remember, competition between companies, we consumers do appreciate because they feel that it does help in a better quality of products. But this, these are not companies. These are cooperative societies and the livelihoods of farmers depend on it. And that is why a lot of fight is going into this. So this entire milk war that we're seeing between Arvin, Amul, Milma and uh, Nandini as well is something that is clearly going to go on for a while though it is being made a political issue but it has to be resolved at some point because end of the day it is also about the second major issue that I was talking about and that is about local identity and preserving local culture and the local uh, produce of uh, that area which can be then marketed well within the state and maybe expanded later but but the deal has to happen in such a way they say that both states or cooperative societies who are dealing with each other should come to a consensus and not come out into a market where they make it look like a direct uh, conflict of uh, businesses in each other's states and that is why it is important to understand the milk wars of southern india we'll have to see what stand these cooperative societies take in case it does snowball out of uh, if it goes out of control but for now state governments taking their own digging their heels and taking their own stand but remember Karnataka's milk Karnataka Milk Federation KMF or Karnataka's product called Nandini is looking at expansion in many, many various states across uh, southern India and uh, other states as well but well the threat perception still continues we'll have to see how these cooperatives react as and when these issues are taken up by the chief ministers and state governments of those respective states Tony Swami in Bangalore for CNN News 18